Questions from the United Kingdom. What's meant by Iqamatul Hujjah? Establishing the proof upon someone for takfir to be made upon him. Before we answer the question specifically, there's a great deal of confusion today among or yani, regarding this issue and other issues. And there are reasons why. From those reasons, what I mentioned and explained last night is that the concept of takfir today is no longer just a purely religious issue. It's no longer 100% just religious. But it's also pertaining to other issues of legitimacy of government. Are we understanding this? In which a person may legitimize themselves through via the religion. And they're actually not applying the religion and sticking to the religion. Like the munafiqun. They had nothing to do with Allah and His Messenger, the Quran and Islam. They only said La ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah for worldly gain, political influence, things like this. That was it. They could care less. Waliyadu billah. Are we understanding this? So the concept of takfir, are we debating on this issue purely based off of kitab, sunnah, the kalam of the salaf, the kalam of the ulama? Or are we coming to the table of discussion and debate of takfir with a cup that's full of statements, fatawa, and opinions from people that are pushed, backed, and controlled by certain governments? That is a reality. That's no disrespect to no scholar. That's a haq. That's the truth. And the proof that that's the truth is look. As the poet said, you should use your what? You should use your eyes. Use your eyes. Read the news. Look. This fatwa was given. What happens to the scholar? You can't say that it's not an effect. It's reality. Everyone understand this? Not even that. It's not about scholars for dollars. No, we don't say that. A person can be afraid for his life. Scared to death. You saw what happened to the last person? You don't make that same mistake in, in speaking about this publicly. And I'm not talking about one country. I'm not talking about one scholar. I'm talking generally. Are we not understanding this? Let alone people, unfortunately, who are bought for wealth. May Allah protect from them. I'm not talking about no island. And I'm trying to disrespect no scholar. I'm talking generally. Are we not understanding this? It's reality. So the concept of tech fear is connected to other things. The people are not going to have the same intensity because it has other connections. Just like the danger of tech fear. Calling your brother a kafir. And it's not true. The hadith says, Illa harat alayhi. Except that it will what? Ricochet and fall back on him. So it's dangerous. So it's not just like any simple issue. Alright? So these are some of the reasons why the concept of tech fear is so sensitive. But the first one, in my humble opinion, is worse. Because the people, I mean, you look at the piety of the people, they don't care about the, the honor of a Muslim. They don't care less about what they say about a Muslim. They just talk about a Muslim like what? Like it's that. But tech fear? No, 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 brother. Be careful. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Why? Because of the ramifications of politics. Because of the ramifications in the United Kingdom and the United States. We'll, we'll, we will tolerate you being this Muslim, that Muslim, that Muslim, but not this kind of Muslim. And for obvious what? Reasons. So that's first and foremost. As far as the simplified answer, Iqamatul Hujjah, it could be a person saying the proof and the evidence to a person. A letter, a message, a video, you tell them this is what Allah says, this is what the message of Allah says, this is Kufr Akbar what you're doing. It's Shirk Akbar what you're saying. And others may say, no, that's insufficient. Rather, it has to be a concept of izalut al-shubha. The doubt has to be what? Removed. It has to be clearly established. No excuse, nothing that they're holding on to, that this is major kufr what you're doing. And if you persist upon it, and you obstinately do it or say it, you may become a kafir. So now the question is, how does this take place? What if a person is so stubborn? And so obstinate. The truth is clearly explained, but they refuse to accept it. Is that now Iqamatul Hujja wa Izalatul Shubha or not? So sometimes it's a little bit of what? Give or take. Last but not least is, is the ulama of Islam, they have mentioned the differences between the kufr which is known and the kufr which could be based off of ta'wil. And it could be doubtful and dubious and hidden to many people. All right? So there, there is details on all of these different issues. What's important is the student of knowledge. Try your best to learn the kitab, learn the sunnah, read the kalam of the salaf al-salih, and also look how they live their lives. And then later on, look towards the scholars who came afterwards, up until this day. And also, at the same time, never take your eyes off of how people, what? Live today. How is the world today? 
with regards to government, with regards to nations. Is it like how it was then? Very important concept to take into consideration and in interpreting and understanding these statements with regards to kufr and takfir and so on and so forth. Huh? So the answer to the question is, iqamatul hujjah could be mentioned in the proofs and evidences, but obviously that's relative. You may mention the proofs and evidences in a manner which is insufficient. The person may not understand. Many people, they just memorize hadith. They don't actually have the proper understanding what? Themselves, let alone giving it to someone else. So the hujjah should be established. The doubt should be removed. The ta'wil should be eradicated. There's no room here. If you say that drinking alcohol is lawful, that's kufr akbar. Because of this, because of that. Kada, 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 kada. And which they basically agree to an extent, but they still want to do it and say it. Everyone understand that? Wallahu alam. That's in brief. That's what? That's in brief. Wallahu alam.